everyone and welcome back to A Year in the Loft with me. Today is album two, track five. Uh, I actually can't believe we're already nearly halfway through uh, album two. It felt like yesterday I'd literally just finished album one. So today I want to try and stick with that theme that I had for track four and be kind of positive. Maybe not a happy song but more of like a more of like an uplifting song today. I'm sure there'll be some um, saddish lyrics in there, but I mean, you already know that that's kind of me anyway. So yeah, let's crack on. I'm back, and um, so much for uh, no sad lyrics. I um, I kind of had the idea that I wanted to use like the lyrics, something about fine wine, like when I age, I'll be fine wine, or when I go, I'll be fine wine, kind of, um, and not to start the day and be depressing, but kind of, when I go, I'll be fine wine, like, you know, when I die, I will have, like, achieved all the things I've wanted to achieve, and I'll be happy, and, you know, I guess, using the metaphor of fine wine, I don't know, maybe I'm chatting rubbish, but something like that is what came to head. And, yeah, just maybe some simple chords. I'll be fine wine when I go. Uh, I spent a bit of time doing some production. Just added like a pad and a piano, and this is vocal sample, which sounds like it sounds like I don't actually know what she's saying. It might just be like an ad lib, because um, it's high pitched, but it kind of sounds like she's saying, "And I know you're too scared." So if I play it for you. But yeah, I, I still think um, there's quite a long way to go for the, the production and I still need to pen the lyrics in and record vocals, etc. Right, it's done. I'm back. I'm um, relatively happy with the production. I still think it needs a couple more tweaks. It doesn't have the impact into the chorus yet. It still feels a bit weak, but um, I'll play you where I'm up to. Here is what the chorus sounds like. Um, and as I said, I had that little vocal sample. There's a piano, a bass, some pads and the drum loop and, and literally that's all that makes it up um, and I, I'll play you from the pre-chorus into the chorus and show you what I mean by it, it doesn't really have that impact yet obviously it's louder but that's kind of because it has more instruments that's what you probably expect but it still doesn't hit you like yes this is the chorus um, but there's a few cool elements in there for example this guitar sample actually plays the th the same well the first three chords in the progression it doesn't play the last chord so as you can see here I've muted the last one um, but just kept the first three and it actually sounds really really nice in the outro with this pad And with a bit of delay and reverb on to make it sound like it's in a big room, you'd never know that I've kind of chopped that sample up a little bit. And yeah, that kind of brings me on to the vocals. So there's the lead vocal, there's an underlay, and uh, then quite a few backing vocals to try and kind of make up for that lack of energy. So I'm going to play you a little clip. When I know that I'm living for moments, I'll show all the world. loads of backing vocals, put quite a lot of reverb on stuff in places um, and hopefully I'm kind of carrying the song with the vocals and the story. Let's jump into the lyrics and yeah as I said the song is called Fine Wine and I'm going to read you the chorus first just because I wrote it first. When I know that I'm living for moments, I'll show all the world who I am. When I know I'm 100% then I'll show all the world that I can. 
because I will ride that fast lane, those good times, that high tide, dine myself and drink till it tastes like fine wine, because I know I'll be fine wine when I go. And obviously I explained kind of a lot of that this like earlier, just saying I'll be fine wine when I go, you know, when I die, sorry to be depressing, but I'll be happy because I will have kind of achieved and I will have aged and I will have written more age appropriate songs and reflected on life a little bit more. And if I jump into the verse, watch the clock, another day goes by in a piece, something I ain't felt, something I ain't felt for a while. And that's me saying, this is, I mean, this song is an absolute story, you know, it's an absolute story, but because as a songwriter and a lot of the time in my life, like, I'd maybe spend like a day just writing a 16 bar loop and think like, oh great, you know, like that's all I've done. I was never, never satisfied. And I guess it took kind of this whole project, me telling myself, do you know what? Alex, set yourself a massive project where you're gonna try and write, I mean, pretty much 120 songs to, uh, to actually feel like I'm doing something worthwhile, which was interesting. You know, and then I say, pre-chorus is me in the moment, pouring it into my veins, trying to blink to stay awake, pouring it tastes like champagne, wouldn't know about that anyway. And there's a few metaphors in here which I want to explain. Pouring it into my veins, so right now, the process I'm in and writing all these songs, like, I want to pour it in, drink it in, I want to take it all in, I'm having, like, the best time of my life, even if, even if I'm tired, you know, trying to blink to stay awake. Just the metaphor for, I am doing all these amazing things and I am going to get tired, that's life. Pouring it tastes like champagne. Going back to, you know, pouring it into my veins. I want to drink this all in. Wouldn't know about that anyway is actually a subtle metaphor because I don't drink alcohol. Uh, never have drank alcohol. So it's like, I wouldn't know about that anyway, but I'm just saying the feeling I get from writing songs is, it, it feels like champagne, even though I haven't had it. Verse two is a, is a really short one. I just say, looking up, nothing can hold me down, you know. There's no, there's no limit to what I want to achieve, basically. Um, and yeah, although the lyrics probably seem quite simple, the, the actual story behind the song is probably one of my favorites. And that theme is legit one of my favorites, you know? And I, I spent like a lot longer on writing the lyrics. Probably why the production isn't as like polished and finished is because lyrically for me, the song is like, it takes over, you know? I don't, it doesn't really matter about the production. I just love writing and I love kind of getting across what I'm feeling inside. Um, but yeah, that's today's song, Fine Wine. The audio will be out tomorrow, um, so go listen to that. And uh, yeah, if you've liked the video, make sure you uh, leave a like and uh, comment if you're feeling up to it, share it if you want to, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, that's it. I will catch you in a few days time. So bye bye and peace.